everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to download and install just enough items in Minecraft 1.12.2. Now I do want to remind you that this video is brought to you by GameServers.com. Go to TheBreakdown.xyz slash GameServers to get an awesome Minecraft server for just one dollar per month. You're not going to find a better deal out there. Go check it out. That's the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, how do you get just enough items installed? Well, it's actually pretty easy. First off, you want to go to the second link down below, which will take you to here, where we then want to click on files right here, and then it will take us to this, where we can see all of the versions of just enough items that have ever been released. So, we want to go ahead and click on the most recent one right here, which is going to be for 1.12.2. If you're not doing this for 1.12.2, to, that's fine, but just make sure you're clicking on the correct version there. You can see 1.12.2 right there as well. And then just click on the download file button. It will then download it. We want to keep this file. As you can see, it's been downloaded 3,000 times this specific build. However, the last one had been downloaded 64,000 times. So I promise it's safe. Nevertheless, we also need to go ahead and download Forge. To do that, go to the third link down below, which will take you to here, where you can scroll down until you see the green download Forge button. Click on that, and it will take you off to the Minecraft Forge website, where we want to make sure, again, we have a Minecraft 1.12.2 selected here, which this is the correct version. If this isn't the version you're installing, select the correct version over here on the left-hand kind of menu bar thing. But this is good for us. We then want to go ahead and click on Installer. This will then take us off to Add Focus, where I'm going to say, do not click anything. Don't click anything on the page. Don't do it. Only thing you want to click on this page is in the top right up here, the Skip button. Click that, and it will download Forge. I assure you it is safe. It's been downloaded by millions of people. So you want to keep that file. And then we can close out of Add Focus and minimize our browser where here are the files we downloaded. We've got Forge and we've got just enough items. Now, what if these aren't already desktop? Well, don't freak out. Just hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Then type in Downloads, just like that. Hit Enter and it will open up your Downloads folder where you might have this file. If it's in your Downloads folder, just drag it to your desktop for ease of use. First, before we can get just enough items installed, we need to install Forge. Doing this is easy. Right click on it, open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. You want to then click on Install Client and click OK. It'll then go through, download some stuff, and successfully installed Forge Client Profile. Awesome. Click OK there, and now we want to install just enough items, right? To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time again. This opens up the Run folder here, where we then want to just type in percent app data percent percent app data percent hit enter and we can find the dot minecraft folder here this opens up roaming and then there's dot minecraft open up that and then you should have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder what do i do well don't freak out it's pretty simple great one right click create a new folder title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open it on up simply drag just enough items into it and we can go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher i'll see you guys there once you're in the minecraft launcher you want to make sure forge is selected to do this hit the green arrow next to the play button and then select the forge version now i do want to say this if you launch into minecraft so if you click play here and it gives you an error the first thing you need to do is come back into the minecraft launcher go over here to launch options Click on Forge right here, and then next to version, click on this little drop down box. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you should be able to see all of the Forge versions you have installed. You're going to want to click the most recent one. In my case, that is .2618. As you can see, the version number at the end there is constantly going up, and the higher one is the most recent. So that's what we're going to go with. Click Save. Go back over here to News, where we can then click Play. It will now launch into Minecraft 1.12.2 with just enough items installed. Might take it a second to open up with Forge, especially on your first run, so don't freak out if it does that. But as you can see, it is now working. I will see you guys on the Minecraft main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, it's pretty easy to see if just enough items is installed. One, you can jump into mods here and you'll be able to see right there it is, just enough items. Now, on top of that, if we jump into just any Minecraft world, for example, this just random survival, Minecraft World, we can hit E, and there it is. Just enough items. This is exactly like not enough items, but uh, not enough items stopped being updated for a while there, and so this spinoff came out. And as you can see, the, 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 the interface is a little different and things of that nature. But nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single week. This has been The Breakdown. I'm Nick, and I am out, guys. Peace.